Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. I'm a serious JG, insofar as I am governed. <laughs> Welcome back to the Aching. We're here one more time. Um, I figured a, a couple things out off screen, and then I asked uh, the creator of the game directly <laughs> for some help. The Lobog or whatever it's called. Yeah, the, 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 the Lobdeg. Um, and they they gave me some tips. They were tips and they weren't just like, here's how you do it. It was actually like, you know, the old Sierra books when you, um, yeah, he, he mailed you, uh, a marker that you could like draw on your screen and it would reveal invisible clues that he would email you. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't quite that, but that was Infocom. That wasn't, Sierra, no, it mind. was, it was normally like the, the Reddit out with a little screen. Yeah. And, um, they, they sent me, um, what did we get three points for? I'm sorry, I was... Oh, the you... three points were for leaving the cave. Okay, those would give me points. Yeah. That was pretty important stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to head to the cove here, because that's where... Mm -hmm. uh, the first important thing, if I can remember how my arrow keys work. We're heading for the China Cove. There just reads, pointing to the east. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to grab the other stuff here before we move along, but uh, we'll be back here a couple times, I think. So there's um, hidden stuff here that you have... Either on your own or with the help of uh, Lobster Roll, you've discovered secrets. You always have to grab the eye. Yep. Roar. Roar. Um, the, so the hints were like the old CR ones where they give you like mm. a kind of hint first. Yeah, and then they just told you what to do after like the third or fourth hint. Yeah, but uh, luckily it didn't do. come to that, so it was okay. like non-spoiler uh, hints. <laughs> reads just don't you don't need verbs you don't need verbs anymore and one of the things is if you look at verbs there's a verb that's not mm -hmm. here uh, at least i haven't seen it on the screen if, if i'm kind of blinding over it well, there's, there's actually several verbs that aren't there like uh yeah well the verb there. i'm about to use isn't there so, like, if we're over okay, here yeah. and we're like dive it's just like i don't uh -huh. understand okay. right i got on here and i say dive the water here is not deep enough. The fuck? That's this not is the good first design. place where I type dive. So I was like, okay. oh man. So I, I, I found this right away. I was just pussing around here trying to figure it out. I typed dive. I'm like, where do you go? I walked all the way down here into this darkness. The water's not deep enough there. You, 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 you keep typing V day. <laughs> It's a very specific uh, mistype that you're doing. Okay, so then to show me up, you do. Um... Oh, you inhaled deeply before plunging underwater. Yeah, it turns out you have to be in the center of this little dark patch. There's almost no light as you swim deeper and deeper, feeling your way down the channel. You suddenly are caught by a rushing current. Before you know what's happened, you are whisked away, tumbling down a tube of stone. You're caught by a rushing current. Ah, a new zone. Temple stores. You have emerged in a small artificial looking chamber. It appears this room is carved out of the stone rather than rather than be built up from quarried stones. The back wall has some large pots against it, and the far wall has several small jars. How far did you go? Far down. In order from outside seems to be leaking into this chamber, the floor has become slick with a grimy slime. Can I get slime? Say, I don't know. Uh, and slime will pour on you from above. Jar. These jars contain nothing more than a thin layer of dust. Well, I'm glad you mentioned them in the description. You find a bottle containing a sparkling oil. There doesn't appear to be any label on it. And this is the one thing you can't look at, I found. That's the oil of Olay. So like in our inventory, we can look at all this other stuff. The other thing of well, note at, is look at bottle, look at pot. It doesn't budge. So this is one of the things I haven't figured out how to open the locket. Okay. Have you figured out how to look at the bottle? I don't understand. Look at jar. I've tried everything. You can't look at that oil. I'll go. <laughs> Okay. 
This was clearly once a primary hall connecting several different chambers together, the heart of the old temple. Some of the cloth still holds fast to the walls, but the ravages of time are evident on the tattered tapestries. You can almost feel the tittering of the tapered tapestries. The doorway on the far wall is flanked on either side by statues of winged creatures, the hands closed together as though they were holding something, perhaps lockets that can only be opened via oil. The statues right at the door is holding something that's red and shiny. I can't quite reach it. So this is where I got stuck. I couldn't get this. The clue to you oh. is somewhere there's a long, sturdy item you could use as a pry bar. I guarantee you've seen it, and I know that you've seen it, but it didn't used to be collectible. Oh, well, that's not right. <laughs> and actually, when I got that message, I was like, oh, I know what it is. It's the penis of the goddess here. Oh. You were standing in front of a giant statue of the Scarlet Lady. She's flanked on either side by stone tablets covered in carved text and glyphs. This was once a standard layout for an altar a long time ago. Long before you were even conceived. When you were just a glimmer in your father's eye. Yeah. The platters and tools of worship don't seem to have survived the centuries, though they may have been removed by someone. Perhaps they included a pry bar. It tells the tale of her past. Once a celestial being of great power, scorned by her equals, he was cast down to Azra, forbidden to ever leave, a punishment spawned of jealousy. Wandering and alone, accompanied only by her despair, which is spelled wrong, she crossed these lands until she found its inhabitants, whom she started eating. It says she was amused by these mortal creatures, but was heartbroken by their constant warring and self-inflicted carnage. She chose to offer to help and guide these peoples. She would guide her newly adopted children and keep them safe from themselves. Ooh, ominous. Oh, I can just do this now. F3 works, and I love it. We can read this side this of the This stone tells of her red court. All are welcome, all are wanted. She would embrace every creature from the mightiest to the meekest. They are all welcome, but it must be their choice. It speaks of a sort of oneness, of all the spirits of her children coming together into a single static experience. Ooh. According to this stone, to lose oneself in the sea of flesh and spirit of her red cord is the greatest joy any mortal can experience. No more pain, no more death, no more loneliness, only a choir embraced by a goddess. Is this new content? Cause, uh... Yeah, it is. Yeah, it felt like there was some backstory to this world, and he just, I assume it's a he, just put in the bare bones. Oh, no, it's a, it's a they. Okay. But um, uh, I'm not tracking why, like, this is getting ahead of myself here. Why would you make it, because the game is very easy to beat if you're just kind of willing to not get the best score. And a way that the old adventure puzzle games weren't, like, you can play this and miss half of the content and think that you've... Eh, I won. Whatever. Well, you can, but I think the people that, you, even when you used to play old adventure games, you'd beat a space quest and be like, man, I'm like 30 points shy. What did I miss? Yeah. At least but I would. You, but you probably didn't miss like eight locations and all of the backstory of the world. Well, some of these of locations the weren't in the game yet. Yeah, that's that's another thing so that's a little I, weird. I think that it, it really was a, a big content update. The Yannis has chosen to go with a hermaphroditic configuration. When the statue was first built, it must have been quite beautiful. Now covered in cracks and missing both arms, she looks forgotten and unappreciated. It's heartbreaking to gaze upon a work of art suffering such neglect. Kill you, Chien. You kneel down in front of the statue, clap your palms together, and bow your head. You're not even sure what you'd be praying for. An extra 30 points or so. And then, like, we know her real name. But, I don't know. I haven't been able to figure out something to pray here. Um, I mean, can you look at her? Uh, look at the statue. Like, I've... I mean, you read the look statue thing. Okay, never mind. I didn't know that's what it was. 
<laughs> so you said no, there looks like there's a bar on the floor there. It does, but that's not what we need. Okay. That's just that's just artwork. We've seen it before, remember? It's not in a new area. Oh, you can also come this way, but uh The stairs give way into a seemingly bottomless pit. You better watch your step. Oh, you're not supposed to be able to go back? We said it's not the reeds. It's not. Ear test save. I'm like, I don't know what word I want to use. It's not a test. The ground here is fairly sli fairly slippery. You best watch your... Oops. You're not long fall. It leaves you a little scuffed. Okay, so you don't you didn't take permanent damage. We didn't damage break here. all our bones. <laughs> well then, well then, how come we can go? If you had fallen from above, would you be able to pass west into the temple? No. Okay. Why? Like, it, there's just a bunch of stuff. Like, we didn't get rid of the stuff that was blocking us. What happened? We slipped and fe like we slipped and fell down. Like I don't. We slipped and we fell out of a hole and landed in this place. Oh jeez. They need to that that needs to be. I'm sorry, but that that if it's a te if it's a graphical adventure game, you need to do some visual explanation for that. There was a hole in the wall. We didn't get like a little us uh, spinning around or falling. It just it, to me. Oh, it just I looked think like you we... might be getting some frames because we got some us spinning around and falling. Okay, I I just saw you walked right. Out of a room and appeared on the left side of a new room and, and like we can't go back. Okay. Yes, there was there was more frames of animation than you saw. Okay. So here's the other problem that I have that we need to think about as we walk around and do the things that we know how to do. Mm -hmm. Um, if we rest here, it says it's generally not a wise decision to sleep in someone else's bed when you don't know whose bed it is. We can find out whose bed it is if we try to use it again. It says, you know, you shouldn't be sleeping in someone else's bed without permission. Yeah. That no. So what we need to do is. Is to talk to that guy and ask for permission to use his bed. Well, that's exactly what's going on. Well, wow, that really works? Well, no. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you what it does. He's like, how dare you? However, I will explain to you how to use this read. <laughs> because you asked me about sleeping in my bed. Use talisman on Sambo. There we go. Thanks for releasing me. Talk to me about any of a hundred things. I'm the source of 100 of the 180 points of this game. That's it. He is, he is the source of many points. Um, so if we ask Rest, he's like, that's a little forward, don't you think? Um, I haven't tried much more than this. I mean, I tried some other questions that didn't work. Um, but my clue to how to figure this out is... Hey, can I rip your horn off your head and use it to pry a red thing out of a thing? No. Yo, I like I know what that is. I'll be showing it to you soon. We'll see if you figure it out before we get there. Um So their clue is he might respond to good manners. Of course he might warm up faster to a nice scent or a bit of blustery positive attention. Oh, he's supposed to tickle him with reeds. <laughs> oh <laughs> You don't have the reeds. Yes I do. Do you? Okay. I guess I lost, uh, I didn't just lose frames. Apparently I lost consciousness for a couple of minutes. Well, I went to the reeds and I said reeds by itself. Uh, that's right. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I need for, well, I lost memory then. <laughs> um. Whoops. That's Grillet Lady. This is a little bit of a book. That's not points. Um, well, we, we, now that we know where the the temple is, can we tell temple? <laughs> oh, I did ask him about the temple, but uh, it's the greater it's the greater house I call home to myself. <laughs> like when muttering to myself about home, I call it Zakaraga Braga. I think if you start typing stuff before things are done, it doesn't. Uh, it makes yeah. the screen stop updating properly. No, I, yeah, we've got some graphical glitches on the screen before.
Boop, boop. Um, what else gives us points here? Oh, we gotta ask pain. So, what if we say, like, ask, rest, please? May I rest? Nope. Hmm. Can I rest? And then he says, I don't know, can you? <laughs> I can't say please. What's the the old English polite way of saying rest instead of <laughs> Um the polite way of saying rest? Well, you know, like you and thou, like you used to be more formal. Uh there's gotta, there's gotta be a formal word for rest. rest. I rest to <laughs> um, Sleepeth me in thine bed Forsooth. So you mean the world? That's kind of a big subject. Do I have much else to show him yet? Oh, wait, so so this is where you you okay? So you don't actually know what to do with this clue about being polite or showing. Oh no, this is the one I don't know. This is you don't need to do this to beat the game. Okay. I'm just trying to get a bunch of points. Well, we got a horn cut key. Yeah, that's the key to his. Uh, oh, right, actually, yeah, to get the to get the. I just wanted to double check if. I can give a show key. Ah! Yes, man. So the, the points go away now. I thought they still let you get more free points. Okay, you can't spam points from that. So you can't you can't scan for points. Have we thought about anymore. giving the pain med like we found multiple endings like the one where you offer yourself to the red lady. Yep. Uh, is there anyone we could give pain medicine to? <laughs> uh, I haven't found anyone that'll accept the pain medicine. I wonder if it makes any difference to. Uh... We went back to the temple, and we used the red paint there. Oh, I haven't tried that. I doubt it does anything, but. All right, so you said I've already seen the thing that we need to. Uh... Yeah, well, I got to go over here in case this is where the stone is. Nope. So it's a hard object. So it's a Wait. long, rigid object that we could use as a pry bar. I mean, is it the ore from the uh, boat? It's the ore from the boat. Okay. Oh, yeah, man, that's. You said I'd seen it. I hadn't actually stopped to think it through yet. <laughs> because I thought at first you said I'd seen it during this video. Oh, which, no. Uh, I, is... I meant you'd seen it in the past. Right. Well, I have great familiarity with digital ores. And that's the thing is that I got the... I got the... Ores are many fingers. Like, private message about it. And I was like, I know what this is. And I went downstairs. <laughs> Jack's ores. Zerfina. I need 10 minutes. I got to check if this works. Actually, Lil Zerfina had just gone to bed, so I was like, ooh, I can test this real quick. Like Zerfina, ores are like many fingers looking for happy campers. <laughs> now, if you wrap the ore in reeds... Oh, but yeah, this guy like murdered us for one of our prizes, or one of the things. Yep. Yeah, I sold my first wife there. Take my wife, please, I said. <laughs> oh, I can't remember what this other one was. Kaka raka baka. Oh, and dad, a word against the Scott Lady. Oh, never mind, you read it. No, no, you go ahead. I never dad, no, a word against Scott Lady. Never was a devout believer in the divine. I hear that's a lot of that can have quite the temper. There you go. So there, there's definitely more stuff here. We can ask this guy, but I don't know if we get much points out of this guy. I had the pleasure. You must really... You really must him. break him. Yep. Uh, what else do we have here? A keeper. 
Right such a lovely face. Such a lovely place. He doesn't know anything about the world. Whoops. Park. <laughs> he doesn't even care about Zybots. Jeez. Um, he has various houses you could ask him about, but you've, we've forgotten the names of them, so. Yeah, oh, I have to have the shard first here. So this is all we can do here. We need, we need to get that. Uh, oh, that you give him the shard and and he gives you whatever you need instead of murdering you. Yeah, or not the shard, sorry. Oh, no, the CI. Ah, we'll do it next time. Yeah. Well, no, there's two things we needed to get from him. And one of them, he gives you an exchange for the eye. And the other one, he just like rips your hand off or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So we got to get another item that uh, he thinks is of value. Which I would think would be the red jewel. I think you're right about that. Ooh. And while we're here, got to get those points. We're not going to end the game, but we are going to get some points. So we couldn't uh, use the red paint anywhere else. I'm going to toss the stone this time. What? Oh, it's a rock. Toss the rock. Num num num. Oh, I got to read books too. I don't. I think I read but the, the paint's books. all the paint's all used up now. I guess it's the red wall. Well, we still know. have some paint. Do we? I tried using the paint on the statue of the Scarlet Lady because, like, you know, mm -hmm. it's sad to see a work of art that's not been kept up, right? But uh, so you wanted to like, it's like, like, doll, oh, the Mona Lisa. No, it's been adding to that. Let me go paint over that some. No, it was more like that, uh, <laughs> that painting of Christ in that one church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just gotta or give that, it a little touch up here. Or that wax sculpture of the rock that uh, was I was reading about on CNN today, where like fans are complaining that it's too pale. <laughs> Let's get in behind the statue. You wedge the ore between the statue holding the red object and the wall behind it. You center yourself, steady your feet, and pull with all your weight. At first, it feels like the ore will snap until you hear a grind, a crack, and then a tumble. You've broken the ore and no longer leave the island. <laughs> Whew. That could have gone badly. So you just knock over the statue. I thought you might like poke the gem or something. Yeah, you you thought wrong. You grabbed the gem. Nope, pretty much. <laughs> it's not just a gem; it's a red gem yeah. specifically. It's actually a ruby. Oh, I can't do that. Nope. Red gem. We'll have to look at our inventory because it's actually a ruby heart. Oh. It's a ruby out of Omar Khayyam. The craftsmanship of this is impressive. It feels less like you're holding a gemstone and more like you're holding a real organ pulled from a living body. <laughs> oh, I shall have a creature life. Well, that's really not... <laughs> That that's some real craftsmanship to make you think you're holding on to some kind of gelatinous, you know, organ. Mm. But hardened statue. Yeah. I I mean, we can give this heart to the merchant, and he will trade it. Part of the challenge of this game. Grind is fairly clippery. Better watch your. Ooh, maybe I'll get to see the animation this time. Oh, well, there's a little spinny. But there. Oh, no, but still, the idea that you fell is not really captured there. I was like, just you're a small below fall. where. It was a small fall that was entirely uh, horizontal. I think, I think you should watch the video when it comes back. The, the guy definitely moves down less. Um, Use locket on long pause. That's a talisman. Use locket on talisman. All right. So now when we try to rest, it says you should probably ask permission. 
I don't know what this polite thing is we're supposed to do with this guy. No, I'm, I'm, we're I'm not, trouble figuring it out. I'm going to read some books over here. Yeah, we got to read some books. We also should be looking for other crystals that we can touch that talisman to, to teleport to other places. I suppose that's true, although I don't rec recall seeing I haven't any seen any other place. crystals anywhere else. I think that's all the books. That... This is the one where you have to... Whoops. Man, I need this proper etiquette. And that's our clue to get the red paint on the wall. I suppose something different happens if you go into the portal after you've seen the statue of the Harlot, uh, the Harlot Lady, the Scarlet Lady. Oh, I don't know if there is. There probably isn't. I'm just thinking out loud um there's also like so i'm gonna do this here i know this is what you're thinking is gonna help the locket open well yeah it's a logical thing to try but every time you use the oil you use it on yourself because it hits the that's the right thing to do i'm gonna stop parsing the rest of the sentence oh so we use the oil you pour some oil some of the oil onto your hand the smell is quite invigorating. It makes your palm feel warm and tingly. Well, now you can open the locket with your new warm and tingly fingers. You proceed to smear the oil across your skin. The sensation is getting your blood pumping. Oh. You feel quite warm and restless. There's a Spanish fly we're putting on here? Maybe. What if we use the oil on... Go. See, but every time I try to use it, it just says we already have... We're, st we're already still tingly, but... Can you now give we the smell oil? good. I oh, think. Okay. So I think this is one half of the... Yeah, he doesn't want the oil. I don't need to smell all weird. Smell good. <laughs> I was using the verb, what, to smell good. What are you... What What makes you think we smell good now? Uh, the description of the oil when we put it on our hands said that it had a good scent. Um, maybe we would have. Maybe if we used the oil, we would have traveled smoothly to the uh, through the guardian beast's digestive system. Ask kindly for rest. You had it right the first time. Oh, no, man. Politely is not a word. Politely is not a word. It's going to recognize, <laughs> but I it know is a word. Not, but I'm trying. I hear you. I'm not what being if we very just, polite. Like, Flirt. Oh, um, thanks. Did I get a point for that? I don't know if I did. I might have gotten no. up one. I think you're in. I think you're already in 99. Oh, you got 99 points. And a bitch ain't one. Ain't one. <laughs> well, now, um, I, now that we've flirted with them, ask if we can uh, rest. Ah! Oh! There you go. Yeah, we had to flirt with them first. That's. Um, I'm. I'm just gonna say. I know he's follows you on Mastodon or whatever. I'm just going to say that's hey. kind of dumb. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I think this is like maybe content that's like more secret content. I don't know. I got one point. I feel, I feel like this is a, a bad end that we're about to get. That would be bad because I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you lie down upon the bed, electing to sleep on top of the covers as opposed to underneath them given your shallow familiarity with the scholar. That seems fair. After a few moments and minor adjustments, the weight of the day sets in and your mind starts to relax. The stress and aches and aching pains of the day drifting off as slumber engulfs you. It's no longer the aching. Oh, we're in a spot. We, we're going to need reeds here. We're really going to need reeds here for sure. Well, we should look before we walk too far. You are suddenly surrounded by a dark haze. Something familiar creeps in from the edges of your mind. Something almost seems to call to you from the south. Do I have my phone the in I've got nothing. What about my dream reads? Oh, I've, wait, I've got the darkest gift for the most brutal of... I'm <laughs> <laughs> aching, guys. <laughs> oh, beds. You vaguely remember this chamber. These bunks feel so familiar to you. Foggy memories tumble from the recesses of your mind. 
So many days and nights pass through your mind, echoes of chatter, of laughter, of friends and family. A pain seeps in with the memories, a pain in your soul, an overwhelming sorrow. Unlimited sadness. Something draws draw. your attention to the beds. Something calling you to come closer. Can I look under bed? They're the bed bugs. They're chatting with you. Any other secret exit? No? You feel your own past emanating from the top bunk with a weight that feels as tangible as the bed itself. Key slept below you on the bottom bunk. Year after year, you trusted no one else more. Not that you trusted Key. <laughs> you just didn't trust anyone. Touching the sheets, you feel a heavy emptiness fill your heart. Interesting. And you regret that you brutally murdered Key. Memories of faces and names slide into focus and you stare at the worn sheets. Seraphel. Ariel. You trusted them. Ariel. Ukla. Ride! But yeah, you, you trust him. Hmm. You're in the past. Oh! Mm. Interesting, that's the scholar. You're standing in a hall. There's a massive portrait of the Lord of the House upon the north wall. The walls appear to have suffered quite a bit of damage. There's a red fluid splashed erratically upon the wall. Something tells you you shouldn't be here. I wonder what that red fluid could be. A massive painting of the Lord holding an oversized runic blade. Only warlords wield such weapons. Rage and anger well up within your heart as the sight of, at the sight of this person. Oh man, I'm he glad we figured it. this out, actually, though. He calls it Widow's Whale. <laughs> he really is a C-word, isn't he? The Azure tiles look worn and tarnished. They still shine despite... Look red blood stuff. Uh oh You have the disquieting suspicion that something terrible has happened here. Something very recently happened here. I wonder if you have to go back the other way. No, uh, you're going to tell me he fell or tumbled or something. I just saw him go from one screen to the next. <laughs> Maybe we could use the reeds on it that we don't have. Do we have anything yet? Nope. Go back south again? I can't go south. Hmm. Looks sword. It's a runic blade. <laughs> Type, hey, that's the scholar! <laughs> I mean, it's definitely the same species. Mm. I think we need to ask the scholar about some of these names, too, once we get back, just in case. Did you jot any of them down? Yes, it's Eve, and Ariel, and Ariel. And, of course, Ukla, the mock. Wake up. Oh, maybe... Politely wake up. <laughs> Flirt up. It's the same thing. Leave? Like, we got points for being here, so this is part of getting 100%. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd like to think they didn't, like, leave this as a dead end trap. Dance pole. <laughs> Look, warload. Yell. Scream. Whoops. What was the word wake didn't work? Okay. What was the deal with the floor again? Azure tiles.
touch grass. You gotta touch grass every day, you know? <laughs> hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was... Oh, I can't go back up. So there was a door, I just didn't see it. Hmm, this is a new place. This is the horror. The Grand Hall has been violently redecorated in the viscera of your friends and family. You were overwhelmed by a cold dread. Who's this dude? What gore? Everywhere you look, the floor is bathed in blood. Well, there's obviously some dudes like skeletons or pitchforks or stuff. Probably just want to like head south. Yeah, but now I know I don't have to use any of those words. We don't need the word family anymore. Look what happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. It looks like your lord got killed. You see your old your lord with the house. Go oh, ahead, sorry. Oh, you see your old lord with the house runic glaive standing steadfast in his back. G L A I V E. Oh, no, you're right, sorry. <laughs> Look, sword. All you can make out is the pool of blood. I guess us. there's a description of ground everywhere. There, it seems to be now. That's one of the things yeah. that were ad was added. We don't need the word sword. I guess we just have to go around him. No. No. That's the it's. Look, ground. No ground. No. no. It hurts. Oh, no, really no. Nice look. no, no, no. No, 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 That's got to be key. But we can't look key. You hold your dearest in your arms. Their flesh is cold and clammy. Their body limp and heavy. So it's a normal day. Hot blades sear a hole through your heart as tears uncontrollably flood your vision. One last time, you tightly embrace your other half before releasing them. Watching their form dissolve away, leaving you alone in a swirly nothingness. Your eyes slowly open to a soaked pillow. A slow ache pierces your heart as you slowly sit up, clutching at the feeling, fleeting sense of loss. The scholar complains that you have made his pillows wet. The locket you carry clicks open. You recovered this from their body. This was theirs. One last memento to the most important being in your life. Keys lock opened. Oh, keys open lock it. You rub your fingertips across the encased inscription. Some wounds won't be ignored. Oh. Man. Well, I guess oh, I can but... understand why they tried to lose their memories to the Red Lady. Yeah. This, uh... <laughs> this seems... Oh, is that what happened? You, you submitted to the Red Lady and lost your memories? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go mention those names to the scholar and then quick wrap this thing up because this video will be a little long, but I'm curious now, did we get enough points to get a, the full score? I got the thing, okay. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to work because we couldn't look at... Our, uh... Sorry, I already knew that one. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not going to recognize these words, I guess. Ariel, I know. Yep. Okay. It turns out he knows all about Ariel. <laughs> Are you talking about the Little Mermaid? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm talking about that chick with the uh, with oh. the butt who was hanging out with uh, Thunder the Barbarian and Ukla the Mock, of course. I do remember the thing that I missed from this other room up here. Okay. We got to go in this hole and get our shard. But the mod, of course, we got to get us some. Got to get some shards oh. out of there. Hey, it worked. Speedrun strats. You just say go hole. <laughs> so we're pretty sure there's no points to be gained by visiting the Red Lady now or taking the analgesics now. Did we get the medicine? We did get the... Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah, let's get the medicine. That's points. Hey, what if the key to winning the game is to go to the Red Lady with medicine? 
I think I did. Be like, I think we did that in the last game. It's like, hey, we know you're upset, but here. <laughs> and she's like, oh, that makes me feel so much better. Now I have appeared in a cafe in the real world. <laughs> you saved this world from the Red Lady by sending her to a cafe where she's just had ibuprofen. You know what? We are a little hurt. I'll just keep that same save. It hurts. What are we going to see him about now? Um, nothing. We I mean, I have get, to give yeah. him the shard and the compass, but I might as well do. Well, we got to get them first. Yeah, we got to get the compass. We got to get the busted compass. Time so these home, reeds but... continue to be a red herring. A red reed. A red reed. Maybe if we had the reeds, we could somehow bring our family back to life. Seems unlikely. <laughs> The reeds are they Oh, I gotta ask him about the reeds when we're there too, because I don't remember if you get points, but he tells you like what they normally get what? used for. Ask who about the reeds? The the scholar. Oh well, I mean, in the past, like we offered them to him, and he said he had no use. Yeah, for he them. doesn't need them. But if you ask him, so it turns out that you can show people items, or you can ask them about the items. Sometimes okay. they give you more than one uh, thing. So we say, show art. Ah, uh, what lovely art. Yeah, what about an equally lovely compass? Yes. I'll say one of the things I tried with uh, trying to be more polite to the uh, the scholar was to um, uh. I, I said <laughs> I said rest and he's like don't you think that's a bit forward of you? And I said, no. <laughs> he did not accept this. It just said, I don't understand. We didn't really do anything in this room, did we? The one with this. No, weird that's plant. one that seems to not have much going on either. Okay. Oh, maybe if I show him the locket now, it'll be different because it's open. I don't have any more to tell you about Karakarat. 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 Um, so Can you fix my me... compass? Where Sanders do well woven into baskets and boxes? Karath, I can't say I've had much experience weaving. I understand those are well, do well woven into baskets and boxes. Karakarat. I can't say I've had much experience weaving. I mean, it's interesting because... It... It's the graphical glitch, but it looks like he's just referring to you as whatever house yeah. you came from. Now that I know what house you're from, I'm just going to call you Kakarath. And you're like, no, my name's Goku. Exactly. Oh, I, was, I, I wanted to give you a chance to go there, and I was going to go there if you didn't. <laughs> um, all right, so I have to show shard. Although I'm going to ask him about the shard first. Sure. I wish you could hold it. Points. Ask shard. They're very handy items. I always I mean, need more. It's like you got the coal mine and I got the shard. Ah, an excellent shot. So, so I use this thing. That's compass. Knowledge of this show compass. There, our compass is fixed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to fix your compass. Thank you. I don't understand. Don't you, aren't you grateful? That's all. No, you can't compliment. Okay. Flirting Continue is, is flirting. Everything. I was curious and was like, oh, could I have just complimented him instead and then he would have warmed up to me? I should have said flirt. Flirt hard. Wait, look around in oh, this I gotta room. try flirting with more people. Well, look around in this room. Oh, the... Yeah. Well, well we I've tried looking anything. at these thorns a million times. You don't even need a description. You can't use the word thorn. Well, if or... you just look at the room. Yeah. And so put this the is ground, the same. Don't vague make plant, memory. vague memory in your head of such a plant called Stranglethorn. And then what if you look at the ground? Ground here's uneven. and Snake like it. something. This are buried just beneath the something the surface. Okay. So, and then. Yeah, it doesn't do anything you said. Stranglethorn is one word also. Yeah. So, I've, I've been trying here, but. Doesn't seem to be anything. I feel like maybe in the sequel we need to like, it's like in Zach McCracken where you found a, uh, a gas of chainsaw, or you found a uh, a can of chainsaw gas because there was a 
chainsaw with no gas in Maniac Mansion. I feel like the sequel, where we no longer have the reeds, it will be like, kit, like instructions on how to weave when you have blood reeds. <laughs> uh, I saved just down there because, like, you never know. We figured out our history. Is there something different when we touch this? I don't think there will be, but... Touch shapes. Welcome back into the warm... Your own Scarlet Lady for all time. The end. Okay. Well. Gorgon game. Paint, paint. Now, we do already have more points than were possible in the first game. Or in the first yeah. uh, version. Maybe we could flirt with this creature. Can we still talk to it? Now that, now that she's sated, I don't think she talks to us. Uh, she does. Keep her. You want to give her a voice? Sure. Oh, you're such a luscious little whelp, aren't you? Oh, what a joy you'll be to keep around. But you don't get to. It's been so long since I felt looked after. I, I like to imagine <laughs> I'm saying it. I, I, I mean, flirt keeper, but I don't understand. Is that supposed to be sexy? Surmise that some poor yeah. creature died amidst the shadows of this cave. It was death with swift. If only you could weave a basket for it. Are you gonna give him the? Uh... Him about? No, I mean you have to. Do we have everything we need? Like, did we give him the orb we got from the cracked thingy? Yeah, I think we've got everything. We got the compass. Right. It's working. Oh, we have to give him the eye. Give him the evil eye. Ooh. Ooh. I have clearly not given you etiquette credit. Let's see what I can offer you. How about this lovely sapphire robe? Yes. Fine. Thank you for not flirting with me. All right, let's see. What happens if you flirt with him? Oh, that's right. That's what I wanted to ask him. Hey, can I please rest here? <laughs> I don't understand. Can you find me attractive? That's not possible. I doubt we get 23 points for using the boat. No, but we're only 13 points off now. I suspect there's some things that I didn't talk to. Uh, I mean, you, dude, I found you a whole dr nightmare s dream sequence you didn't know existed just yeah. by uh, whatever I told you to do. And, but we only got two points for all that. So I'm not sure that there's a correlation between points and I, Yeah, content. I think we got more than two total points because I definitely have... Um, like, we're 11 points higher than I was when I beat the game off screen. Mm. So... There you go. There's still 13 points out there to be found. So, folks, if you my my big, game, my big addition to this pl uh, was uh, suggesting you try to ask him to use his bed a third time after you'd flirted with him. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> what led to all that. But yeah, like you are you you were about to say, and then I interrupted you. Yeah. Um. I mean, there's still more to be discovered in this game. So, if you've uh, watched the series and you've enjoyed this game, uh, and you want to see more games like this, the way you see more games like this is by supporting the people that create them. So, um. You know, it's not an expensive game, so if it's your bag, give it a give it a try. We're going off in the gondola. This is the same ending we've gotten uh, each time, but I think it just doesn't tell us. Um, Unknown creatures, further dangers. Yep. Perhaps we'll find some answers there, too. The end. But we're not told, hey, buddy. Hey, chump. Try not to get mangled on your way here. So we, mm. we've we done that, and who knows? Progress. Maybe if you get all 180 points, you actually get... Uh, something more but maybe not you just get the glowing warmth of knowledge in your bosom and maybe some extra lore if you're asking the right questions yeah i mean we got like it's called the aching we're finding out a little bit more about this guy's tragic past assuming it is a guy we we well this is kind of a androgynous sort of creature <laughs> yeah creature and 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 we were told that it's it's other half died so we don't really yeah you're not really I'm assuming it's a guy because I'm a guy. I tend to do that. But um, no, this is 
Uh, oh, you're projecting I, I, onto the character you're playing as. Sure, but what I was going to, like, yeah, because I know the, you're going to be talking about this game. In a, like, I've, I've got real mixed feelings about this game, like, I, it, and I tend to get critical of games that have enough going on that I like that it's worth actually making critical comment. But, yeah, like, there's a lot of, like, neat little background stuff we discovered that still didn't really change the game. Yeah. Like, but it did, um, it did fill out the world more. I feel like if it was a little yeah. easier to find this, because this is exactly what we were missing from the first playthrough. Not exactly. Like, it would have been nice if it was a little longer. But um, I think what we were, we were missing, like, a, I think one of us said, like, hey, we've got this world here and we want to know more about it. Right. Right? Yeah. And now we can. And if we had seen that in the first try, especially since the first playthrough, it did take us, like, five videos to get done. Right. So yeah, when we had no idea what we were doing, when we had no idea around. what we were doing, right? So, you know, if some of this extra content had been there when we first played it, we may have uh, had a more satisfying first playthrough. I think that's true. And the other thing to remember too is that five videos, like this, is emulating a game style where, like, oh, I just bought this this neat new indie game and I played it for like three hours, and I'm done with it now. But maybe I'll pick it again and play it in a few months because. It was a walking simulator with a fun story, and it cost me like six bucks. This is emulating a, an era where you needed to get more than one evening's play out of a game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because, because you physically bought a copy of it, installed it on your computer, and it cost you money. Although, to be but, fair, the thing that made those games take that long was that the you didn't fact know how to fucking solve them. You didn't know how to solve it. If you know yeah. how to beat Space Quest 1, you can beat it in like 10 minutes. I know, but like between us, without knowing it, and you know, we played these games before, I suppose. It took us five videos to figure it out. I guess you had to look up some clues, but... Yeah, we did yeah. look up some clues the first time. So we could have been hammering ourselves. And that's what it was with, like, Space Quest and stuff. You'd be like, I don't know what to do. I'm going to hammer against the wall yeah. for, like, two hours. Damn, right. it didn't work. I'm going to go to school and think about it all day long. Right. right, right and then right. one of your friends is going to tell you, you know, there's an object that's long and can be used as a fry bar. And you'll be like, oh, shit, it's the ore. <laughs> it is right here. And he points to his crotch. <laughs> No, the, the the thing with the the additional background information, like again, someone who's never designed a game, preaching to somebody else who has put together, like this took some work. Like hats off to uh, the creator of this game, but I feel like there's some little tweaks. Like maybe there's no logical reason, but like if if you have to go through that whole dream sequence, which didn't involve any real puzzle solving, it just involved moving around and looking at things. If there was something that came out of the end of that that you needed to get the boat working, even if it was a term like, you know, like oh, it, 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 it not much yeah. that you unlocked rather than like you wake up and this item is in your hand. I, I know how people would say that's hokey. They don't like that. But yeah, like if that content was easier to find, a little easier to find or you were you were, you know, sort of ushered towards a little more and connected in with you being able to get out of the island. I think that would have helped a lot. Yeah, well, it, it would have made for a you have to see most of the stuff. Because I, I guess, guess that's I... true. In a, in a Space Quest game, this is where you'd get like, oh yeah, I got a pretty good score, right? Right. I didn't get everything. I might come back to it uh, in a couple weeks and just putz around and see if I can figure right. out some more terms to ask about or some, you know, some extra things to find. But, uh, you know, or like the King's Quest, first King's Quest. Oh, yeah. Like you don't I'll... have to get all the treasures, but if you do, you get all the points. I always remember in King's Quest 3, I, I always kept a save before you get on the pirate ship after you defeat Manahan, Mananan, whatever his name is. I just liked being able to wander around in the open world beginning of the game without the built-in time constraints that game had because it was fun to explore when you actually had... Th there's there's a theme that I was kind of missing in this game, which was... Like, I, I, I don't think I put it together. Like, it just literally... I, I wasn't reading all the text or something that the hero had amnesia. Like, I guess I wasn't sure, like, does the hero know what's going on? And we don't as the player or what? But, like, I think, I think the that, idea I think that, that some of the text at the beginning of the game kind of makes it seem like you don't really remember much. Right. Like, I, I feel like they, they like with a little bit of tweaking, you could really draw a connection between he's on the island. He, he needs to get off. There's something terrible in his past. But, like, like some sense that he needs to figure out what he's doing here before he's. Like, so, like you know, thematically it makes sense. You need to figure out what your past is before you can move to your future. It'd be yeah. nice if there was a reason that you needed to figure out what your past was before you could break free from it. Because this island is kind of where you're trapped until you can figure out what that was. Yep. 
Well, so all in all, it's got some improvements that could be had done, but for what it is, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, um, yeah it's and, interesting and, for sure. You know, it isn't a team of uh, you know, fifty people making the game. It's something done yeah. kind of in in spare time and whatnot. So I think. I'm not sure if uh if some of the people in the publisher uh work there full time or not, but um Oh I don't know, but I, I, I do appreciate what they did. I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, I really need to get to bed so that I can wake up. <laughs> well, wake hopefully up you don't have a, a terrible a dream. Soaking wet pillow and memories <laughs> of how my old lord murdered my family, but then got murdered himself. I think that's what happened. It seemed I... like it might have been like maybe I don't know. Maybe yeah, it's supposed to be that we got. Like, did you kill him? Like, did we kill him after we found he... out what he did. Did he get? Did is he part of the slaughter? And it wasn't. It was some outside force. Maybe that's in the sequel. We'll figure out what's going on. Or maybe that's the remaining 13 points. <laughs> it could be. Because <laughs> it did seem at one point like, oh, he's this he's this lord. And he was an idiot. And he called in, like, his his stupid acts called in enemies who killed your family. But, like, you seem very directly angry at him. Like, he yeah. personally was killing your family. So, are we meant to know more than we do? It's hard to say how much, how much more knowledge could 13 points represent. But, uh... I think we've probably done enough with this game for now. Yep. Maybe, f you know, uh, until that tantalizing couple of pixels that represents the city becomes available and the aching to more pain. See you then, folks. Bye.